Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a one day build instead of something I've been working on throughout the week. I went to the home store, picked up some materials, and we're going to go downstairs and build a sled for my table saw. There's not going to be any design or any CAD work going on. We're just going to go downstairs and get right into it and see what happens in a couple hours. Let's go downstairs and get started. All right, we are down here in the basement. Took a minute to clean everything up. Now I'm ready to start building. I'm not going after any particular crazy design. I just want something nice and simple. I'm going to be pulling inspiration from a couple different guys I've seen off the internet, and we're just going to see what comes up. The uh, first step I need to do is make the slide. So for that, I have a nice hard piece of oak that I'll be using. The guide is finished. There's a couple hiccups. Needed to do some sanding, clean off some of the uh, paint on the inside of the rail, get that a little bit smoother. Um, but it slides through pretty easily with a little bit of hand sanding. It'll slide through even better. Um, rounding the two edges on the bottom really helped making sure that it didn't get wedged down. And since it's going to be attached to the platform, I don't have to worry about it actually going the full depth um, so it shouldn't get pinched. The next step is figuring out how large I want this to be. I have a two by four foot piece of MDF board that I'll be making this out of. Um, I think the entire thing is too big for the table saw so I just have to play with it, see what size. I have to play with the dimensions, see what size I like. Everything is square as I think I can get it now. The back edge of the saw is the straightest, most square part of the table saw. So I clamped a piece of wood to the back, and then over here I had a cup I had to put a couple pieces of paper to shim it out, and then I would hold my square up against the back and then push it against when I hold everything nice and tight, this paper can't go in at all along the entire length, and it can't go in the length of that. So I think that is as square as I'm going to get the guide. Now I'm going to drop the blade down and put the platform on with the rail underneath it and then drill a couple pilot screws and then screw it together. And, and I should have a nice square platform. I have 
three screws holding on the rail to the platform now. That's plenty to hold it in place, but leaves me the flexibility to move it if I have to. Everything's lined up the way it should. All the markings are where they're supposed to be. Everything looks square, but you never know. Um, so I'm just being cautious and not gluing it until the end. Right now, I think the next step is to raise the blade up through the wood. So a quick update, show you something. This piece of two by four, this piece of wood was ridiculously straight. Like right now I just have this side clamped, corners flush, corner flushed. Same thing down here, edge flush, edge flush. <clears throat> and if I take my square, put it along this edge, there is absolutely no gap the entire length. Like, I don't know how lucky you can get. 70% off piece of lumber that just had a little bit of mold on it. It's ridiculously straight. Like, I couldn't have asked, I, you couldn't have asked for, you couldn't have asked for a better piece of wood. With that, let's get back to getting it square. I need to make sure that the slot is perpendicular with the back edge, and then I can put a couple screws in it and work on the other side, and then take it all apart and glue it together, and I'll be done. I'm done with the dry fit, <coughs> but I am not done inhaling dust. Everything went well. I threw a piece of MDF on it that had a nice straight edge on one side and then just ran it through and then checked it with my square and as far as I can tell, it's a 90 degree angle. That's using something that was eight inches on one side and about 30 on the other side and it's, it's as good as I can get it right now. The last couple steps are to Take all the screws out, glue everything together, throw just a couple more screws in to make sure it's nice and stiff and clamp together so the glue sets well. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video, get to gluing this thing and then calling it for the night. As always, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the adventure as much as I did. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. If you enjoy the content of the video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you enjoy the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when next week's video comes out. Have a wonderful week, do something productive, and I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>